Welcome back, people. Now, what we're about to do now is a special segment. We don't normally do two subject matters, but since it's the talk of the town, we have to address something that happened in the town last weekend. What we want to talk about is the violence that occurred at the Auditorium Theater. Um, folks, I know you all heard about it. You didn't heard every. I mean, they went nuts on the water cooler. Um, some of us were there. Uh, we don't need a blow-by-blow -blow account of it, but what are your thoughts just about violence in the community and where it's gone? Well, me personally, I think that it's gone too far. And we need it, but everybody needs to basically come together as one united front instead of fighting each other. Because if, what it looked like, stuff like self-destruction basically. Remember that song? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Self-destruction. We, we need those days to come back for an enlightenment, especially in our youth, because young people were fighting at that, at that auditorium. Mm -hmm. if you had, now, when they say young, what, what age do you think? If you had to guess. Between 19 and 25. That, that's, that's the group that they say is out you know, of control right now. And that's what's popping right now. It's a lack of respect. Yeah, they don't seriously. have respect anymore. They don't have no identity, vision, nor direction. Right. Ms. Hatchett, what do you think about the events that, that transpired last weekend? I think that our just, uh, in general, our youth are out of control. I don't think they have, I think they lack guidance, respect, understanding. So with all those things, they just don't care. And so I think what happened is it, it, it just basically showed how our, our youth are just, they're lost, basically. And unless we, as the public and in general, the black community come together as one and try to sometimes mentor some of these kids instead of um, getting on blogs or on the internet or talking about it amongst each other, instead of doing that, why don't we come together and address the violence and what can we do in the community as a team? So that's just my personal thoughts on what happened and what we need to do to address that issue. Because talking about it is not changing it, but what can we do to help these young men, to help these young women, to get out of these situations? Jay Riddle. Show oh, light. Oh man, I just, I just really feel like as a black entrepreneur negro, and you know, with my fellow constituents up here, we all do our best to put together and orchestrate shows mm -hmm. for the community, not just a certain genre. We, with the young to the middle to the old. And I personally, along with Zach, T. Bradley, Kanisha, whomever that I work with, I see that we put a lot of effort into the things that we do. Not only effort, but uh, money. Money, you understand what I'm saying? So I think, you know, I would like for the youngsters to just take into consideration the things that we do to try to help bring things to this town, to put laughs on people's face and make people feel good and party, whatever it may be. Because it's time, like Zach said, money, you understand? And I think the misguidance isn't as a whole, because I don't believe that the whole people as the youngsters at that event tore it up. I mean, it, it's 500 people there, 20 people fighting. That's right. less than 10%. That's less than that's 10. That's about five, that's 4.7% right. of right. the people that fucked it up for 100%. Right. A lot of our youth that right. commit violence has a lack of guidance. Because if they did some of the criminal acts that they engage into, they wouldn't. And, and this topic can get lengthy. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Because, exactly. you know what I'm saying? It's, it, yeah. it's a nucleus somewhere. But at this point in time, I believe, like, if we just nip it in the bud at the events that we hold. Like, I'm not saying don't punch the nigga in the face with disrespect right. for slapping your sister. I should be saying that, but I ain't that good of a Christian yet. I'm not saying right. that. Right. What I'm right. saying is you got little babies here. Right. You got old women here. Yeah. Take that shit outside and right. you niggas tear each other up. Kill each other. I don't give a fuck what y'all do. Don't but don't do that in front of the, I mean, there should be some rules of engagement. Now, you know what? It was the goddamn security that was working there that ran. The security I, ran. I heard the security oh, ran. Well, the security is old as uh, men in the auditorium. Oh, but even though no security, I'm not going to subject myself if to security. If I'm getting $60 a night, I'm not about to shit, jump. Hell, you. these people got put on guns shooting people. You're right. I don't you know it. what? I don't fucking Two know. Niggas fight Just don't come right. to no new money entertainment show trying that bullshit. Because I'm not the average. Comedian, I'm serious. I'm I got jail. two strikes, uh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Get your shit together. T. Bradley, what do you think about that? Um, as Jay stated, we can talk. You know, we can keep going on and on and on about this. As Kanisha stated, um, it's just so many things that we need to do in order to, you know, gather a solution to kind of stop all this madness. But what I actually, I wasn't there, but actually, I saw it. You know, I saw it on tape, and it looked, it looked like it was. 
dictated. It looked like they came specifically for that reason. I saw him off in the corner congregating with each other and just talking. I seen him fixing his head and fixing his, you know, his stuff because he was getting ready to go in. Take it outside, you know. Go on Jefferson or Hudson or wherever it is you're from oh, yes, and yes. address that, hey, whatever. I'm just giving it the west side to the east side. Take address care. that somewhere else. But don't put everybody else's life hey, in danger with the foolishness when you, you know, if you had beef, you could have addressed it somewhere else. Right. Respect. Respect. Basically said everything I was going to say, like, we, everybody, we all put hard work into our events and stuff like that. And like, personally, I lost my brother to violence three years ago, so I take this shit serious, man. So. When you come into something that somebody's putting their hard dedication life into, man, and you want to act like fools, man, it's like we got like 15 parks in Rochester. Pulaski Park, y'all can go get it in. 100 on 100, nigga. Nobody can break that shit up. Nigga, y'all can tear each other ass up. I'm not condoning violence, I'm just saying. There's other ways to handle it. And as grown men, like, that's, come on, man. Like, I, don't, I can't even call y'all grown men because y'all putting uh, women and kids Children. in danger because y'all want to. Try to look good in front of y'all girls or something like. Come on, man, that's that's whack. Whoever, so, just in general, for like the we, public. Like we said, man, y'all come to any events that anybody that we mess with hold, man. Y'all bet, yo, yeah. come on down, man. Yeah. For real, man. Another thing too, like on an ending note. <laughs> yeah, cause he tripped. I would like to say that um, if you come to a funny for money event, mm -hmm. zoom in on me, please. Like about right here on up. If you come to a funny for money event, you pop that shit. I'm going to jail. Like I just said, I'm not that good of a Christian yet. And I'm usually at his events, and that's my buddy. Third strike. He ready. He want to go back and to jail. I nigga. don't want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. He's tired to go back. He's tired of iron niggas' drawers. He's tired of iron niggas' drawers. He ain't doing He got homeboys that he misses. Thanks for using for the uh, stupid deal on the high book. This is not an This is not an invite to come to the show and act buck wild. Yeah, it's nah. Because a lot of people would take this as in a, another yeah. way, You'd be like, oh, you think it's sweet? Yeah. I'm gonna come to your show and fuck it up. Yeah. It's yeah. not an invite for that. It's not an invite for that, but like I said, we do 500 push-ups before general, we go on stage. Man. Not just his event, just in general. Yeah. Just as a as a whole, guys, don't come to people's events or whatever they have Club, going on. You know what the funny thing from. about it is, this is Rochester, and it's not that big. You didn't see this motherfucker ten times. Right. right. That's you seen him at the saying. grocery That's store. You seen him at McDonald's. You, you seen him when that. he was cashing That's your check at Chester's. Thing. You seen him when y'all both was dropping your That's babies right. off at your baby mama house. Right, right, but right, now right. you want to fight like, when like you get Jack out said, to the right. Like Fuck yeah. said, people invest too much money into these shows. Mm -hmm. That's and a lot of those kids, they put a lot of hard work into their outfits and just to their whole little skits. And to destroy that, I don't think that was right. right. And even on another, a higher level, the people that were in the show spent a lot of money, but. Violence has a trickling effect. For instance, right. now insurance premiums going up. Yeah. Right. Um, there's a list of shows that people in Rochester can't do. For instance, it's hard to find any place that will book a hip hop show. It's That's hard right. to find any place. Now, since y'all want to go to that, they put the other two shows on the list. Now it's hair show, fashion show. It's going to be hard to book those. So now they used to want you to have an insurance bond. It would probably cost you $10,000, a surety bond. Right. You probably pay $200 for it. Now they want a million dollars in coverage, which you have to pay ten thousand dollars for. So who gonna pay ten thousand dollars for an insurance bond to do an event? It's not even gonna be worth it at that point. So you keep doing this shit, we're not gonna have nothing. nothing. You ain't gonna have no choice. Nothing. Nothing. They already don't mess with Lexi West. That's the part that's 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 the, you don't well, think we about, and I know you don't care, down. but that's part of it. That's the root right there, man. We are all black people and we are ruining it for ourselves. I'm not, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Black. Pink, 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 pink people too. Pink. You know what I'm saying? I'm Spanish. You gotta understand, what up man. Clinton Avenue? When, um, one, when one thing happened, it fucks it up for the whole bunch. So, basically, we gotta come together, man, as one united front and run this damn town. All right, and that's right. You heard that? We gonna end on that note.